Hello everybody, this is Big Movie Gamer and we are back with some more Paper Mario, the Dallas in your door. So we just finished. And I forgot about that guy. Uh, let's see how many people we have to face. Woo! Let's run. Uh, I don't like to run, but uh, we're not going to run. Yeah, we're not. Oh, we, we, we are. I, I was kind of confident that they were going to be like, nope, you're not running today. Oh, man. Uh, I was looking away from the screen. <sighs> Anyways, it seems that to be inevitable that we're going to... Uh, let's try to run again. Oh, it. Uh, okay, we ran again. Alright, let's try to avoid him this time. So the last time we ended up, we, we ended up beating uh, the... One area. Uh, the wobbly wobbly. Anyways, I believe we are supposed to go back. We still haven't. We still are not able to. Oh wait. Hold on one second. Can we go? Oh yeah, we can. Huh. That's cool. It's uh, got a damage dodge button. Alright. Let's see. I think we're supposed to go back to the... Uh, I'm going to switch to... I think we're supposed to go back to the, the shrine, the door. Right. Unless we already did. No, we didn't. I think this time we should uh, explore a little bit. Apparently, I haven't been exploring. I've been playing this like a linear game, and it's sort of open world, kind of. So it is actually, I think. No, it it isn't. I don't. I don't know. But it's it's a we're supposed to be able to go to anywhere. So I think we're gonna visit some other places and see what we can do. Again, I've never played this game before. I've never played the original. This is my first time playing. It's a huge reason why I love remakes because it does give you the incentive to play it. Because it's fresh, it's new. Kind of. It's a remake. Oh, wow. What is that? That looks scary. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so two down, five to go. That's cool, 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 cool. The location of Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. Awesome. There it is, the resting spot of the next Crystal Star. Totally awesome. But it looks like it's pointing somewhere up in the sky, huh? What could that mean? So we're going to have to talk to the old man. That means that beneath this town, the town, the... Again... I do not remember the voice I used the last time, so I apologize if I change the voice and it's not consistent. I just don't remember what I use. Sometimes I play, I'm trying to play two other games at the same time, and sometimes I'm playing this in a few days, or like a few hours, and I'm uploading half an hour to 40 minutes a, a day. Um, and then sometimes I'm playing another game, and so I don't remember when I go back to this game. I don't remember exactly the voice I used, so I apologize if it doesn't sound consistent. Okay, so I apologize for that. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year door ruin, the thousand-year ruins remain intact. Uh, 
And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. But the question is, why did they seal the legendary treasure away to begin with? I mean, were they just trying to keep it from being stolen or what? Well, no, no, that's not. Uh, what? That's not what? I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, Professor. I'm sorry, so sorry. I, I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that written is this, darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. And it must research this more, assuming we'll just make an... Well, you know the saying. No, I don't, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, assuming it makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> How about this next crystal star then? It's like it's floating on a magical map. Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning area where there were great warriors engaged in furious battles. Ostensibly, ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world reach around the bounce. It's like floating? Well, how are we supposed to get there then? A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through the certain channels. What what channel? Stop being mysterious. How do we get seats on the ship? Um, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. We're on the street as all takes us go through Don Pianta on the west side. Uh, head west from the Rookport's main square and you'll reach the side downtown down con the side of town controlled by Don Pianta. He's the Pianta syndicate head, and I heard he makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. So no problem, we just go meet this Don Pianta guy and we'll be on our way. Uh, it may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta's a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Alright. Whatever. Mario Coops! How you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology. Wow. I'm doing great, drinking fresh green water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you'll like the Pedalberg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure. Coops. So, where are you headed next? I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. You'll grow, but don't grow too much. Also, you might be too tall to fit through the front door. Haha. <laughs> From Coopley. <laughs> Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me, but please don't find I'm actually more worried about you. Uh. Oh. Alright. Alright. The fiends that kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. Uh, oh, yeah, I already read this last time. Alright. Well, well, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point, the turf is now ahead of the robos. It's 10 coins to pass through. You try to pass through without pain, and I'm afraid I have to whip you, but good. Mm. Fine, I'll pay. One, two, three. Yep, that's 10 coins. All right, you can pass. All right, so let's visit this place. Hey, this area is the turf of Ishnel and the robo band of thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in a back alley that few people can spot. Uh, it's locked. What's this? Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? Then I'll explain how our service works. Listen up good! This Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check the bulletin board. Wow, there's a lot. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, nah. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, huh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Wow. <laughs> yeah. If they call me Garf. I have lost my key and thus I cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rockport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you in the house at the very back end of Visa, Visa Rockport. 
Yes, sir. Do it and do it right. Safe delivery. This is Mikumba, and I have a simple task. I need to have someone to deliver it. Unfortunately, for reasons I cannot mention, I cannot be seen walking around Rockport. Meet me behind Zest, T's house on Rockport Square. Damn, that kind of sucks. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, infamous. The infamous sinful mouse. I know things. Things worth knowing. If someone's in trouble, it's giving you trouble. I'll share my info, but it'll cost you. Think of it as tip for a tip. You've got all the info you need, pal. If you're still confused, just check the board game. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Alright, so. Um. So, uh, do I have to go to his house first? Hmm, I didn't have to pay 10 bucks every time I go through here, did I? Let's see. I haven't learned to ship power yet. Or curse, as that guy says. I cursed you. I cursed you good. <laughs> hey, it's Luigi. Well, I went to the Rumble Bumble Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was a danger in all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty harrowing, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Uh, let's see, Rumble. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set off for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through the dense jungle. The scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for, bro. But I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know. But as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tell. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in his home, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stumped around. Now, the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a green red gem on his forehead. Now, I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. Oh, you, man, I said. Oh, I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hugged Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. Why, well, that jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess El Clear was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Pumply Village on the Strudel continent. So I set solid once again and came back here to Rockport to recharge. That's what happened to me, lady, but I'll be heading back out soon. Come want to hear about something else? Nah, I don't good. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. I don't know if that's a proper voice for Luigi, but whatever. Uh, I... I want them to make a game uh, called Paper Luigi uh, and call it the Volcano or whatever. That would be awesome. And do his quest and then have Mario like come around and like, you know, him, Mario explaining what he's been up to and exactly what you've been doing. And you'll be like, oh, hey, I remember doing that. And yeah, that'd be funny. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My spell skin's crispified. I will never forgive this guy. I'm going to make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. 
Oh, uh, that, okay. That's... Yeah, I kind of want, I, I want that. I would, I would love that. That would be awesome. Oh, wait. Hello, Mario. Still working hard. Professor Flankley here, and E-Form again. There's something I forgot to tell you. I highly recommend that you look into obtaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you have that badge equipped, you can take care of weak foes with the first strike instead of fully battling it out. The battle, the bad, the bad shop in Rogueport has it available for purchase. You can get it there by exiting the second floor to the end. So stop reading this and get yourself a first attack attack. But oh, I got it, got it, bud. I got it. First attack badge. It's right. Um. Nope. Nope. I do not have it. I thought I had first attack badge. Anyways, let me um, yeah. go ahead and buy it. <laughs> Do we need to rest? Do we need to sleep? Nope, I think I'm good. Uh, let's see. There's a sleepy sheepy. That's kind of weird. I thought I had the first attack badge. I don't have it, do I? Damage, dodge, happy heart. Mango rush, last attack. Power bomb. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Oh, wait. Maybe. Welcome. Welcome to Toad Bros Bazaar. Eh. What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Oh, just wait a minute. Wait just a moment. <clears throat> Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any stock right now. Good luck, tough luck. I know. I can switch a little run right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Okay. Hey there, fella. Oh, no. X not terrorizing Bowling Woods have withdrawn. Just what the their motives. Okay, what, just what was their motives? I don't know, man. I have no idea. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna try to look for the key, the key, the key, the key. Doesn't look like the key is anywhere here. Right, let's look over here. Man, yes, I blew through 300 coins. 300, 300 coins. Man, yesterday I blew through 300 coins at the parlor. Can you believe that? But next time I'm gonna win. Just mark my words, man. I got a system now. I think I already heard that. You got some kind of problem? You think you can just barge into my hat, up, buddy? You're probably just jealous. No one's stooping around. It's the perfect high spot. Uh, high spot. With all this garbage, there are tons of flies and stuff. Who wanted to come in here? You're probably just jealous. No one's jumping around. It's a perfect hideout spot. Uh, I got a star piece. Yay. I got a star piece. I got a star piece. I got a star piece. Hey, hey. <laughs> I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Hey. hey. Yeah, from Little Rascals. Uh, you young people don't know what Little Rascals are, probably. Used to be a, f a TV show a long time ago, and then they did a movie in the 90s, I believe. It was so awesome. It was okay. I wasn't a huge fan. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta get it out there. I wanna, I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town about, uh, about until three months ago. Yeah, good one. But then the heat came down, and I needed a hideout, so I came to Rockport. Now that I told you I'm lying low in this thief thing, so you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
No. Look, I'm not letting you into West Bar until you find me a new lens. I'm sorry, but in the story, I can't cook anything without, about, without my contact lenses. In. Ah, my rage is so hot right now. I could cook you with it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I stepped on her, on her lens. Let's see if they're ready. <laughs> hey, fella, about you. All right, let me go to sleep and let's see if it's... If they, if they come. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, I used to sail around here running wild in the younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to blow up all the time without paying any heed, any heed to what ordinary blokes thought. Okay. I mean, scram, don't talk to me. My heart's burning from my long lost love. Oh, where has my beloved actress gone? Why did she forsake me? Yes, Lori was her name. She was grateful and lovely with the voice like an angel. But she slept the bright lights and went off and to live in quiet and peaceful. Oh wait, this Flurry? Can I bring her out? Yeah, but she's right she's like right behind me. She's like she's right right there. <laughs> I guess not. Welcome to years and years. Have a seat. This poly plays a humble little cooler shop where folks mix their stories and drinks. But by the way, there's an end of service, and when you're weary, go up and relax. <laughs> this is Callstone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, Sparkly Dane. It is so fabulous, I wish you'd give it a great big kiss and never leave my sight. Never! Uh, okay. We have to steal that one day, or what? I guess that mouse is really blind. <sighs> Alright, sorry, excuse me. Welcome to the lone refuge in the fort, fort of filthiness. Our best will soothe your soul. Carry the rest, it's five coins. I'll stay. I don't want to advance time. <laughs> oh, oh, Master Mario, have you found the princess yet? Please don't waste another moment. You must find a princess. You must. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's the key. Yay, I found a key. You got a house key. Oh, no sidekick tunes. Where's the Oh, hey. There it is. Oh, that's a hunter. Wow. Now I know a new customer when I see one, so let me give you my usual rundown on how our shop works. We have a special creative selection of recommended badges up here on the counter. If you're looking for something more niche, check on the cardboard box on the right side of the shop. And that covers the basis for our shop, but do you want me to explain it? Oh, no, I'm okay. Okay, moving on right along. All right. Uh, yeah, sure. Even though it took me a while to collect those hundred. Simplifier. I don't have enough. Happy flower. Uh, sand. I think I have a sand. I think I have most of these. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's one coin. I don't, I'm not very much into the oldies, old, because they sound a little technical to me, techno or whatever. I like the new because it sounds more orchestral. Oh, um, so yeah. Anyway, um, let me go. He said he was in the east, right? East coast. East coast. Thank you for shopping at the Tobros. We're writing to let you know that the content that you order is now available to pick up our shop. Assuming you can see well enough to read the same one. Please stop by our earliest convenience. Ah, cool. Uh-oh. Do I have enough money? Oh, no. How much is it going to cost? I just paid $100 for a badge that I didn't even... A hundred... Uh... Oh, wait. Cool. 
Oh, that's safe. <laughs> yes. Oh, cool. Just time. <laughs> oh, you've earned a gift with your store shop points, but you can't carry it right now. Come back after you use, use sell our, our store in item, okay? Uh, let's see. What was the... Uh, ice storm. Huh. I'm going to do the ultra mushroom. And a super mushroom. Well, no, super is not. No. Super is okay. What is this? Clear that lady out. Did you bring my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? <sighs> oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stumped out. Wait, he's in East, right? Back in of East Rockport. Rockport. All right, let's finish this quest. Man, this game is gonna take forever. And it's usually because we can't, we can't really speed up. We have to walk, which is, I don't, I'm not complaining. It just pushes back Luigi's Mansion a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, we have to do every single time. I like, can. Uh, Eh, let's fight this guy because I don't have the coins. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. He has a 23 attack. Uh, oops. The attack, man. Yeah, kind of. Oops. Ah, uh, anyway. Let's power smash this guy. can't attack through her, so I need to, and I can't do that, so I pretty much need to do Flurry.
Oh, bingo. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I can't body slam. I'm gonna have to use Gale Force. Oh, really? Ah, I blew him away. <laughs> I should always do Gale Force. Ah, cool, 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 cool. Um, I think this one. Man, go for ah, cool! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? I don't have any coins, man. I had no choice. I mean, I apologize, but dang, I'm trying to tell you. I tried, I tried, man, I tried. He took, uh, he took all my trouble, eh? You okay? And please find me a key and quick be quick about it. If someone else finds my keys, they'll be able to get in my house. So stay stand guard. I think I dropped my key when I went to the bad shop, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I should have talked to him first. <laughs> Yes, my key. I can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet home. Thank you. Please take this as payment for your efforts, all right? 30 coins. Awesome. Yeah. Got to do more of those. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I, th I hope that's the end of that guy. We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Well then, okay you guys, that's gonna do it for today. So we solved one problem. We solved two actually. Not gonna lie, we did see we solved two. A problem we created by stepping on contact lens. And but we did find a guy's uh, key, so feeling pretty pretty happy about that. Now we can visit the west coast, the west side of the town, and see what's in there. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying. If you guys are, just uh, press the like button, join my channel, subscribe please. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> sorry. <coughs> Oops. Uh, Gus Bavare. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyways, if you like the content, subscribe to my channel, press the like button, uh, press the notification bell to be notified for future episodes, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. Comment if you wish. See ya.